Meta has announced a set of new AI video models. Welcome back to the AI Daily Brief. On Friday, Meta announced Meta Movie Gen. They claim it is the most advanced media foundation models to date, and people are pretty excited about it. Today we're going to talk about what they announced, what the response is, where the skepticism might lie, and basically use this as a chance to check in on video generation more broadly. The company writes, MovieGen delivers state-of-the-art results across a range of capabilities. MovieGen Video is a 30 billion parameter transformer model that can generate high-quality and high-definition images and videos from a single text prompt. MovieGen Audio is a 13 billion parameter transformer model that can take a video input along with optional text prompts for controllability to generate high-fidelity audio sync to the video. They go on. It can generate ambient sound, instrumental background music, and Foley sound, delivering state-of-the-art results in audio quality, video-to-audio alignment, and text-to-audio alignment. There is also video editing, using a generated or existing video and accompanying text instructions as an input. MovieGen can perform localized edits, such as adding, removing, or replacing elements, as well as global changes like background or style changes. And there is also personalization, where you can use an image of a person or a text prompt, with the model generating a video with state-of-the-art results on character preservation and natural movement in video. A lot of state-of-the-art talk, as you can see. That message was reiterated by Chief Product Officer Chris Cox on Threads, who wrote, We're sharing our progress today on MovieGen, our project to develop the state-of-the-art for AI video generation. As of today, our avals show its industry leading on text to video quality across a number of dimensions, with 16 seconds of continuous length, plus a leap forward for state-of-the-art on video-matched audio, precise editing, and character consistency and personalization. Cox continues, the feedback we heard from filmmakers and video creators was to prioritize ease of editing, but even more the ability to generate videos with a specified character or image, which these models now faithfully achieve. A research blog post shared more about what the model can do. They write, Given a text prompt, we can leverage a joint model that has been optimized for both text-to-image and text-to-video to create high-quality and high-definition images and videos. The 30 billion parameter transformer model has the ability to generate videos of up to 16 seconds at a rate of 16 frames per second. They continue, we find that these models can reason about object motion, subject-object interactions, and camera motion, and they can learn plausible motions for a wide variety of concepts, making them state-of-the-art models in their categories. Now, in terms of demonstration, Meta showed off lifelike water, skin texture, hair, and movement. They presented the example of a koala on a surfboard with choppy waves splashing on the camera lens, all perfectly rendered, a person dancing around in a bedsheet ghost costume complete with a reflection in the mirror, and of course, this underwater shot of a baby hippo swimming around, complete with distortions and surface reflections. A lot of the emphasis is around this personalized video generation. A photo of a subject can be uploaded and transformed into a video clip. For example, Meta gave us a fairly standard selfie combined with the prompt, a woman DJ in a pink jacket spins records with a cheetah by her side. The potentially game-changing thing here is character consistency. For many use cases, this would be exactly what takes generative video from a cool novelty to an extremely powerful professional tool. This would, of course, massively expand the use cases for not only filmmakers, but also advertisers and anyone who needs any sort of multi-step video that's longer than just a single clip. Video editing also potentially represents a really big update. The example that Meta gave of precise video editing is of dressing up penguins in Victorian dresses, then adding some beach umbrellas before turning the whole scene into an animation in the style of a pencil sketch. They also showed off audio generation. ATV engine roars and accelerates with guitar music. And rustling leaves and snapping twigs with an orchestral music. They summed up their vision by stating, As we continue to improve our models and move towards a potential future release, we'll work closely with filmmakers and creators to integrate their feedback. By taking a collaborative approach, we want to ensure we're creating tools that help people enhance their inherent creativity in new ways they may have never dreamed would be possible. Imagine animating a day in the life video to share on reels and editing it using text prompts or creating a customized animated birthday greeting for a friend and sending it to them on WhatsApp. With creativity and self-expression taking charge, the possibilities are infinite. So a couple things, this is actually quite a revealing endpoint. First of all, this technology is not available currently so basically we have a Sora situation on our hand, where it appears really impressive, but no one has the chance to actually test it out in real life. Chris Cox dealt with this directly in his Threads post saying, we aren't ready to release this as a product anytime soon. It's still expensive and generation time is too long, but we wanted to share where we are since the results are getting quite impressive. Meta clearly thinks that some of this is going to be controversial. In that same blog post they wrote, while there are many exciting use cases for these foundation models, it's important to note that generative AI isn't a replacement for the work of artists and animators. 
We're sharing this research because we believe in the power of this technology to help people express themselves in new ways and to provide opportunities to people who might not otherwise have them. Our hope is that perhaps one day in the future, everyone will have the opportunity to bring their artistic visions to life and create high-definition videos and audios using MovieGen. So what were people's reactions to this? Bilawal Sidhu, the host of the TED AI show, writes, Okay, finally dug into Meta's new MovieGen paper. Text the video is cool and all, but to me, the precise editing feature is the game changer. It can handle complete VFX tasks like replacing environments, doing set extensions, swapping characters, removing items, adding particle effects with realistic lighting interaction. Now, Bilawal also got a little wonky about how they had figured out how to train this. He said, the coolest bit to me is how they trained this model because paired before after VFX editing data sets are super scarce. TLDR, they taught it video editing through a clever three-stage process. One started with image editing data, treating it like single-frame video edits. Two created synthetic video editing tasks by animating still image edits and using AI models for object segmentation. Three, the model generated edited videos and then learned to reconstruct the originals from the edited version. Meta calls this video editing via back translation. Lots of people also landed on the Sora comparison. Chubby on X writes, Meta has landed an absolute hit today with Meta Movie Gen. Not only is the video quality at Sora level, you can even upload your own photo and integrate it into the video. Speaking of Sora, Andrew Curran points out that Meta is not uncomfortable calling out competitors by name. He flagged a section of the paper which reads, On text-to-video generation, we outperform prior state-of-the-art including commercial systems such as Runway Gen 3, Luma Labs, and OpenAI Sora on overall video quality. Audio outperforms prior state-of-the-art including commercial systems such as Pika Labs and Eleven Labs for sound effect generation, music generation, and audio extension. That paper, by the way, also pointed out that this model was trained on 6,144 H100 GPUs. Roberto Nixon pointed out that hold aside the quality, Meta also has the distribution. He writes, Meta is going to be very hard to beat. They just announced MovieGen, which looks to be at the very least on par with the best video models currently available. They have 3.6 billion daily active users they can serve this to and free. It'll be rolled out to all Instagram users early next year. And that is, of course, what makes Meta so different and such a huge giant in this space. Between WhatsApp, Instagram, and Facebook itself, they cover a huge portion of the Earth's population. To the extent that there is any skepticism, it's certainly in the fact that this isn't available yet, but the pretty clear sentiment is that this is going to be a very big deal for video generation, and that if the practical results are actually anywhere near as good as the demonstration videos, Meta is going to be a major player in the video space. Super interesting stuff. Can't wait to get my hands on it. But for now, that is going to do it for the AI Daily Brief. Appreciate you listening as always. And until next time, peace.